Hello, welcome to David vs The World um, from the Dave Cave. Um, I haven't made a video for a while, I haven't been too well, um, so I've been recovering from that. Maybe I'll do a video on that at another time. But um, one of my previous vid videos was about um, the yellowing of a vintage carded figure, my Hoth Layer figure, um, despite having, well, not letting the figure be in any direct sunlight, my room sort of blacked out, um, keeping the relative humidity correct, etc. You know, it's still the, the the bubble started turning yellow. So um, I did say I was going to do another video uh, looking at restoring um, vintage carded figures or where it's actually possible. Now I'm not going to do it on one of my um, much loved figures. You know, with the figure inside it, um, I do have this uh, old Klaatu. Uh, figure there, um, which is of course yellowed and it's sort of coming, coming, coming off. Um, now, I did think about, of course, taking the bubble off and um, submersing it in um, a jar of hydrogen peroxide. Now, I do have um, uh, what's it, six percent hydrogen peroxide there. Which, again, the high percentage you've got to be careful how long you leave it. Um, I might do another video on that, but. Um, then I thought, um, if we were looking to actually restore a figure, you can't submerge the figure, sorry, the actual card, with the bubble figure in a jar of hydrogen peroxide. So, what I thought I would do is I found um, my wife's spare uh, hair dye, and inside that, um, okay, you normally get a kit, so you've got conditioner, lovely soft hair with the conditioner, colour cream, and the colour activator. Now, I believe this, the, the colour, here you go, the colour activator for this nice and easy has got the hydrogen, per, hydrogen peroxide in it. Um, I think we're about, I don't know, maybe 3%. It doesn't tell you. I've checked the instructions. As well, it doesn't tell, so I think it's going to be three percent or or less. So what I'll do is give that a poor shake, and that's and um, I will uh, coat the bubble in the uh, hydrogen peroxide from the hair dye uh, kit. Um, put some cling film on it, and leave it in the sun, and see what happens. Now my theory is that where this is a clear bubble and not like a figure where the uv is not penetrating right through that the uv is actually penetrated through the bubble so the yellow continues through the plastic itself so it's not limited to the surface like um, a yellowed uh, figure star wars figure other action figure that you want to whiten so it's not just limited to that sort of surface um, I think the UV actually goes right through so maybe I will initially try the cream and then see how it gets on and if it is yellow on the other side maybe I'll then try and submerge the whole bubble to see if it makes it better but I do think the UV is penetra penetrates with this being clear penetrates right through so it's actually within the plastic as well that's turned yellow so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm remain hopeful. You know, it's going to be exciting to see what happens. But um, I, I, yeah, whether at least replenishes the bubble a little bit to stop it continuing to go brittle. But I don't know. I, I as I think I expressed in my last video, you know, I've got the actual surprise of the bubble still turning yellow. Um, on my vintage layer figure in the absence of any UV light coming in uh, keeping the moisture levels uh, correct I've got hygrometers around the house which uh, tell you the relative humidity of the property you know so um, 
maybe I'll explain hygrometers in another video. I'm a building surveyor, as, as you, I may have, I've said, I think I've said in another video, so I might cover that. But um, so yeah, um, I'm, so it's a bit overcast today. See if the sun comes out. It really needs to be a few hours out in the sun. So um, so yeah, so as soon as the sun's out, I'll um, switch over to uh, preparing this for. Uh, for the attempted restoration so let's see if we can get the bubble and clatu sorted out brilliant all right so we've got a nice day in the garden and we've got on our gloves um, right so gloves on now we're going to apply this Now I would use a brush if it was going to be more delicate, but I'm just going to put some of this on. Just with my hand. I said if we were trying to properly restore, I'd probably use a, a brush. But it don't matter if I get it over on this one. So we're doing a delicate job, we wouldn't want to get it on the card, so that's it would be a really fine paintbrush. But we just want to see what the results are. So put that on there. I've only ever done this on uh, vintage figures, so there we go. Right, so now we just need some cling film. So it doesn't matter we get it on the card on this instant because we just want to see if it works on the bubble but I think you could if you had to you could delicately do that and just bring it in you wouldn't get it on the card so right so let's leave this out in the sun for a few hours and see how we get on I think it's been about seven hours now, so take off the cling film. There might be a slight, ever so slight improvement. But if, if that was a figure, that would have worked, so. Right, so 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide, which I stole from my wife's uh, um, hair dye kit. Um, left in a, actually left it in the sun for two whole days. Didn't make any difference with the yellowing at all. If there was, it was just so minute it was just unnoticeable so what we're doing here as you can see um i also went for the six percent hydrogen peroxide and coated that put it in the cling film as you can see um exactly the same over a couple of days 
and the results are exactly the same. So now let's try the 6% hydrogen peroxide and submerge, submerge the bubble in a jar. So I finished my experiment and um, the answer to my question can um, bubbles on vintage carded figures, not the figure, because they can be whitened, um, but can the actual bubbles on the card, so the inside, my layer figure, just to clarify, the, the figure inside hadn't yellowed, it's the actual bubble on the outside. So the question is, can you actually restore the bubble on the outside? So yellow for, can you actually make that go clear again and sad to say the answer is is no it's still very much yellow um, that's the three percent and six percent hydrogen peroxide both um, applied wrapped in cling film and also submerged in the jar and uh, it, 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 it come out the come out the same um, there was no improvement as I can see to the bubble so if, if there is it's so minuscule it's uh, it's unnoticeable so um, so very sad um, that it's that it doesn't seem to be possible to restore the bubble um, now I've had comments and everything about the actual figure but as as I just said the, the if you follow what I've done in this experiment the three or six percent hydrogen peroxide I've wrapped in clean cling film with the cream or submerged in a jar that will whiten your figure that will work um, but unfortunately restoring your bubbles you know um, there doesn't seem to be any way of, of doing that now initially I thought um, well, my thoughts were that um, it was the UV maybe the moisture content in the air and maybe heat um, effects on the figures so not on the figures on, on the bubble that was causing it to turn yellow now those thoughts came from well on then on your autographs and photos that are exposed to light they, they tend to fade and that's why you have UV protected glass to stop your, any of your autographs in, in photos um, from fading but in making this video I had a chance to catch up with an old friend he's actually a, he's a chemist and he was telling me about um, uh, funny enough he's into Star Wars and always sci-fi as well um, he was telling me about the plastics and the ABS plastics and uh, that in fact the plastic was actually quite it could be unstable and volatile and what they would have to do is add a fire retardant to the plastic to uh, to maintain its structural integrity make it more stable so in that substance they that they used the fire retardant they used was called bromine or bromine you know pronounce that right uh but bromine and uh yeah that that's what they added to the plastic now uh, when the brom bromine or bromine how you want to pronounce it um is exposed to oxygen 
it actually changes the um, the state of the plastic. So it, it's the bromine interacting with the oxygen that turns the plastic yellow. So I'm assuming that that's the same what they used on the actual figure inside the card. And they, they the same principle with the card on the outside. So it's not the UV penetrating it, it's the bromine in the plastic inter interacting with the oxygen. So, but the strange thing though is how does the oxygen penetrate into the plastic? Because I have used the hydrogen peroxide. Now the hydrogen peroxide, peroxide is what, again, alters the plastic and um, re-whitens it. So how is this still yellow if I've submerged it? So how is the oxygen <laughs> got to the bromine inside this plastic? So um, for the moment, the answer is no, you can't restore vintage bubbles um, to stop them from turning yellow. But I think there's still some more investigation to be done on this. If it's the interaction of the bromine with the oxygen, how is the oxygen penetrated into the plastic to react with the bromine inside? Because this was submerged for days um, inside 6% hydrogen peroxide. So, so yeah, so maybe, so this is a foul for the moment. It didn't work, but maybe, maybe there needs to be a third video. I, I, I don't know. Let's see. I might have to uh, speak with my friend again and see. Um, I, I wouldn't have thought this plastic was porous or allow oxygen to get into it. So, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, watching the video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Um, please like and subscribe. Welcome any comments, any tips or, um, or any information where you might have the answer to this. Again, I've had some comments on the actual figures, but I know it's, the figures is not, the actual vintage figures are not the problem. You know, if you just follow the process in this video, um, you, you will whiten your figure. Just, just be careful with the percentage. The 3%, the 6%, you know, the reaction can go a lot quicker. So just keep your eye on it. You can actually damage your figure if you leave it too long with a high percentage of hydrogen peroxide. It can go a lot quicker and you not realise and it can damage your figures. So, so yeah, so thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and uh, see you in the next video. <laughs> what do you think about Star Wars? You don't like Star Wars? What do you mm -hmm. think about me liking Star Wars? It's okay. It's okay? It's your hobby. That's not what you normally say to me. What? You always say it's st stupid.